All right. Sorry about that. I'm trying to find the, the right volume for this game. It is incredibly difficult. You have no idea how, uh, how high the volume for this game is. So, we are playing uh, Star Wars Death Trooper. Uh, this is uh, part number one of a little story of two parts currently. And it's basically a Resident Evil-esque Star Wars zombie shooter. Yes, that that's that's what I wanna that's what I wanna say. It's kind of weird. I'm not gonna lie. God, I sure hope I didn't accidentally ruin my OBS settings just trying to record this one because it's it's very hard. It, it, it is very difficult to actually get a decent volume for this game. Mostly because it has literally no settings. So, yeah. Alright, here we go. This is part number one of uh, Star Wars Death Trooper. Yes. Good old Death Trooper. I haven't played, but yeah, okay. Oh yeah, this is giving me this is giving me some solid Resident Evil vibes. I'm not gonna lie. I'm scared to click because I don't want to accidentally skip anything. But I don't think I can't move the camera, so I don't think I'm expected to move yet. Death Troopers, yeah. If you're wondering why I'm talking like this, it's because my kid literally just fell asleep. Quite literally just fell asleep. Also, I got a little bit of a cold. My throat is ruined. So, it is what it is. <clears throat> Alright, come on. Load up. Oh, damn. It's dropping us straight in there. Explore the corridors. Uh, sure. Use was the move, mouse to aim and shoot. Ah, okay, I see. Wait, is that it? Oh shit, no manual reloading, no melee, nothing. No crouch, no jump. Interesting. Tell me more. So I may die. <laughs> Alright, R2 D2, shut up. What the fuck? Are you good? Oh my god. Bro. This is a little fan game, by the way. This is not an official game. No, no, no. Just a fan game that is actually very cool. And if, if anybody... Like... A triple A AAA studio specifically, or an indie game, makes a game like this. Jesus. It's bound to have success, honestly. Especially if it's Star Wars. Or like do a crossover or something, like Star Wars X Resident Evil or something. That definitely catch a lot of attention. Uh, I bet this game is gonna be solid on YouTube. <laughs> uh, you can find this on HIO. It's made by Stefano Cagnani, I believe. I have definitely butchered his name, I am sorry. Uh, I will link his HIO in the video description. So make sure to check that out. He's got a he's got quite a couple of uh fan made titles. I think I I think I even saw oh, hello. I think I even saw a Godzilla vs. Kong. Like the the old movies. Oh god. Oh, okay. So 
So I think I can only go this way. Oh sh! Damn. Well, they definitely got the horror vibes. I'll give him that. This one is stuck. Shoot! Alright, there's this dude that is hella stuck there. And I don't think I can do anything about it. Shit. Come on. I got 350 minutes, oh my god. Three fifty of straight up survival, nothing else. Jesus Christ. That is rough, bro. That is actually rough. Do you know how hard this is to aim? Jesus Christ. Because it, it, it's a little bit offset. Or it feels offset to me anyway. I'm sorry, what now? I need to make sure I don't get flanked. Oh my god, they're stacking, bro. Okay, they are actually stacking. I don't think I can move further. Huh. Alright, attempt number one. Come on. I don't, yeah, I don't think... Uh, <laughs> I don't think I'm supposed to go there. Screw it. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, come on, dude. Load me up. Load me up. Alright. Yeah, nope. Nope. I am not supposed to go there. Okay. So, what now? I'll try to... Find a way, I guess. What if I wait for one of these and just go inside? Is that even possible? I can try. Well, I'm inside. <laughs> what now? I can't see. Oh fuck. Oh fuck, that is really bad. Yeah, okay, I'm not supposed to be here. I'm gonna die. I am so fucking dead. The second this door opens. I don't think this door opens. Okay, it opened. Okay. Well, I tried something. Shit. Alright, I'm gonna try to backtrack, see what happens. These are hella bugged, by the way. <clears throat> I mean, it's a cool game, but... It's got some weird hitbox issues. Yeah, I don't think I can go anywhere. It did say explore the corridor, so... I guess that's it. I got one more minute. Time to see if I can find anything. Okay, never mind, my screen just went black. Movie time.
That's a lot of bogeys. I'm sorry, is that Darth Vader? Oh my god, it is. My guy put Darth Vader in this. Good old Darth Vader about to choke me. Come on, choke me daddy. Daddy V. <laughs> okay. He's, oh no. Oh no, he got he got red eyes. Brother. Jeez, okay. Well, we got destroyed. Like I definitely put the the red saber to good use. Oh my god, we are cut in half. Oh my god, bro. Is that blood going upwards? What the fuck? Yep, <sighs> Stefano Cagnani. There we go. Alright, this was port number one. And uh, I did find a port number two to that troopers. So, uh, I'm gonna jump straight into that other one. Give me a sec. There's a nightmare mode, apparently, which I will uh, not explore in this. Alright, here we go. Part number two. Let's see, what are we getting ourselves into? Endor Moon of Tana. Okay. So we saw the... I believe that was the Death Star. It's been like 10 plus years since I've watched anything Star Wars related, so excuse me for my lack of lore knowledge. I don't know what kind of trooper we are playing as, or what kind of trooper this is. This is not the standard trooper I, uh, I'm used to. Okay. Okay, my, God ha my guy has camo, and uh, yeah, okay. They're all hanging. <laughs> the first one had uh, some, some way stronger horror vibes though, I'm not gonna lie. Troopers, the outpost. Interesting. Okay. Anything else other than darkness and stars? Hmm. Alright, we've seen one of those little ships. I forgot what they are called. That's definitely no X-Wing though. <laughs> I forgot the name. Like I said, it's been like 10 plus years for me. Since I've seen anything Star Wars related. Because Star Wars Battlefront 1 and 2 were not for me. And yeah, I haven't played any Star Wars games since I was a little kid. So it is what it is. Is that planet Earth? It looks kind of like planet Earth. Interesting. Oh my god, this is so loud.
Yeah, this is completely dark for me too. Hold up. Oh, there we go. We got some images. Alright. Is that DD5? That font is not doing me any favors. DD5 or 1. Okay. Well. Sure. Where are you guiding me towards, though? Like, like what? The outpost? Question mark. Okay. Oh. This is the Ewok planet. Oh, we have HP. Oh, that's not good. The black bars are a little bit weird, I'm not gonna lie. I suggest finding a shelter. Outpost 535 is nearby. So where exactly am I supposed to go? Oh I can transmitting into space. Oh shh. Okay. Hey, oh I have melee combat. Oh my game went out of focus. Am I in windowed mode? I just pressed escape. Hold up. What is happening? Uh, I think my game just insta crashed. I think my whole body is broken. All right, we are back. Now the only problem being that this seems to one um, overload my encoder, which is not something that happens very often. So I'm assuming this is at least 4K, as in forced. <laughs> Um, my mouse seems to not be locked on the window, and this seems to be in borderless window mode for some reason. Uh, we have no options. I can crouch. I cannot jump. We have some melee combat, and that's about it. I think. Yep, I have no options to choose my gun yet. Alright, let's... Hello. You know I'm gonna melee this fool, right? Straight up. No? Okay, I don't have the option. What is this fucking Scooby Doo, bro? <laughs> Keep in mind my encoder was being overloaded, but this is being recorded in 2K. Or at least that's how I set it up. Okay. The damn Ewoks going crazy. Hold up. I have a, an RTX 4070 and my encoder is being uh, overloaded. That is not good. <laughs> I'm hoping the frames are still okay. Well, I am assuming I get a gun. His gun. Unless I'm supposed to melee the Ewoks. Here we go. Ah, shit. It's zombies again. <laughs> uh oh. Zombies and Ewoks, no? So is this guy gonna just run after me? He's not alone. I see. The blood looks a little bit weird, I'm not gonna lie. Not as high budget as the first one. How do you randomly trip? <laughs> Alright, come on. God damn. Do we get a weapon though? Oh, we get multiple, huh? I can see from your helmet that these guys aren't dead. A equip weapon. E interact. I see. Are right, are you seriously gonna make me pick up every single one of these? All right. 
Ah. Bitch. Nah, melee does not work. Bitch. Nope, melee doesn't work. Okay, honestly? The shooting feels better in this one, but the horror vibes are much better in the other game. What if I just avoid the majority? My overall mouse sensitivity is ginormous. I had to lower it to like, I don't know, 3000 DPI. I have a Razer mouse, so my DPI is like 20k. It's like a... Let's see. It's a Razer Bad Heather. It's a little bit old, so I kind of forgot what mouse I had, I'm not gonna lie. But this, this little guy has 20k DPI. This game has literally no options. Okay, um, they can't attack me here. <laughs> Have I found the, the cheat code? Can you go around? Which I'm gonna hit you. Ah, shit. Oh, they can attack here. Okay, so what now? Alright, let me go see if I can find something else. Maybe I can find a new gun. Maybe I can found, I find this outpost. You never know. I can't jump, so I'm assuming that's the outpost. If my words randomly cut, uh, I just want to let you know my throat is a little bit uh, acting up, if you know what I mean. I am currently sick, but I have chosen to cover this because it's something that I found to be a little bit cool. Also, I just literally got uh, Resident Evil 2. As in today, I can't pick that up. That is cringe. For some reason, F is also control. Alright. I'm seeing something there. Or someone. That's another Zombo. Alright. It's still giving me some solid Resident Evil vibes. Let us conserve our ammunition, because I am expecting to need it. I don't know how long this game is going to be, but I don't think it's that long. Oh my god, the, the turning? It is so fast. Okay, I cannot climb ladders. Will, will you die, though? Okay. Alright, what, what is my purpose for being here? And why do I unequip my handgun? Every time I find something... Uh, to pick up. Alright, I'm gonna just run around, grab all the ammo I can get, I guess. I don't know how the volume is gonna be in the video, I am hoping it's not too loud because this is extremely loud for me. Y'all gotta believe. It's 50%, I've set it to 50%, I and to minus 17 in OBS. This is still incredibly loud. Oh, this guy's a little bit fast. Hold up. Ah, shit. Okay. He's tanky, bro. Bro, my armor has a lot of weight. That is, that is heavy armor. Alright, can I open this? Ooh. This is actually just Resident Evil. But in Star Wars universe.
Also, it takes my guy like two minutes to do anything in a cutscene. <laughs> Go to ATST. The fuck is ATST mean? Okay. Is that it? I don't think that's it. Am I supposed to know what ATST means? Question mark? Can't enter this cargo area. Sup? Alright. Where is ATST? What is ATST? Oh. Oh, I did click outside the window. Alright, let me try to melee. It's fine. No, nah, melee does nothing. Alright. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Do let me know how you feel about a, a horror Star Wars game. Is this gonna just restart me? Yeah, it's gonna restart me. I don't think I've missed anything. I think this is all the demo has. But... If I have missed anything, and some of y'all have tried this, do let me know if you found anything. Um, I'm gonna quit now because I don't think there is anything else to find, but it's a cool little concept. A horror Star Wars game would definitely catch a lot of people's attention. I'll see you guys in the next video.